Cancer peeps, hello. Greetings to you. Hope you're having a wonderful summer or fall or spring or winter, whatever time of year it is for you. It's different for everybody. If you are looking for more uh, picture cards, check out my, my playlist. I have plenty. If you're looking for personal reading, I do them in the live streams, and I also do them over on my Etsy. Links are always below. All right, this is for you, Cancer peeps. Love, love. Tell me all about your love. It could be old love, new love, what? Cancer peeps, water, water for, the, water for love, water for love. Energy, okay. Tell me all about the love, the love, the love, Cancer. Radiant. <coughs> Earth. Bottom of the deck energy is wisdom. Okay, to narrow these down into tariff uh, forms that you can identify with, so that it makes it easier for you. Because I know these, this is an oracle. This energy is talking about, this is like a um, temperance. Like, out, like doing some kind of alchemy, some kind of balance. Changing the energy, so... What is coming towards you in love, Cancer, is something that is more ebb and flowish for you, something that is very balanced, <clears throat> not all over the place, not a topsy turvy, uh, flip flopsy, flip floppy, undecided person. This person knows what they want, and they're very good at maintaining good balance, and they're very good at proceeding cautiously and slowly with you getting to know you first before asking you to go visit family with them or asking you to go to the bedroom, if you know what I'm saying. Radiant, this is the sun. So they want new life. They want something fresh. They want to feel happy. They want to feel joy. They want to feel like a kid in a candy store. I feel that that's what they're bringing you. Cancer. This is the Earth Empress, uh, Queen of Pentacles energy. This is telling me they want to ground something. They want to nurture. They want to uh, secure a connection, like to put a label on it. Like Let's just say we're boyfriend and girlfriend. Let's just do that, and let's work towards something deeper and long-lasting. Like a freaking acorn in the ground. Let's grow this tree. Let's grow this mofo. Wisdom, the king and queen of swords. To me, this is like they want to get to know you. They're very direct also. They, they want to be very, very, very clear and direct with what they're looking to do in this connection with you. I feel this person also um, is sacrificing a lot to be with you, to make you happy. <clears throat> so for you, Cancer, I just see this as someone who is, has grown emotionally and uh, mentally as well. Before, they could have been all over the place, like not knowing what they wanted in life, not knowing what they wanted in a relationship. And now I feel they, I feel that they feel more grounded thanks to the temperance. They finally got their groove. And no, their name is not Stella. It could be, but I don't get that. <laughs> all right, that's what I have for you, Ken. So let's see what your advice is. This is someone, they're very like, I think they're just tired of, being alone or tired of putting energy into the wrong people feed your minds with positive thoughts that's what i'm saying the king of swords and the queen of swords uh yeah very mindful uh good at at problem solving uh this is somebody very wise mentally wise like they've been through a lot you got that wisdom card where is it wisdom there you go feed your mind with positive thoughts look wise they're very wise they already know what they want and they want something that's more stable and more positive. Like the sun. You also have the sun. You have sun here. You have yellow here, orange here. So that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching.